Hello and welcome to 12 Di- oh. Starting off the news this week, a study published in the journal Science Advances has released details of several gases found inside the asteroid Ryugu. Samples from Ryugu were brought back at the end of 2020 on the spacecraft Hayabusa 2 and it's exciting to see that studies on this amazing opportunity are finally coming out. Since the rocket launched all the way back in 2014, it's been a long time coming. This particular study reveals that two noble gases, helium and neon, were found within the sample, likely having leaked out of the grains collected from the asteroid. Some atmospheric gases were also found in the sample, but it's likely they came from a small leak in the seals of the craft. And now over to Ben, with some new visuals. Thanks Doug. Well, it seems to have been an unusually quiet week for major paleontology news, but we do still have a couple of interesting stories. First up is a pretty entertaining account that's been making the rounds online, in which a presentation given at the Society of Vertebrate Paleontology, or SVP, meeting in Toronto last week has been reported as featuring evidence suggesting pachycephalosaur dinosaurs actually kickboxed like kangaroos. The famous dome-headed dinosaurs have long been depicted as ramming their heads together in combat displays, but by creating a virtual 3D model based on a very well-preserved skeleton of Pachycephalosaurus wyomingensis, this new research has apparently discovered that the skeletons of these dinosaurs have some features that look like aspects of kangaroo anatomy. Apparently, there's some evidence suggesting that the dinosaurs actually might have used their tails as a prop to create a tripod stance before then kicking out, as kangaroos do and their back vertebrae display a specific kind of ruffled texture at each end, which is also seen in modern kangaroos. There's no actual peer-reviewed paper published yet though, and for the moment it's still just a hypothesis, but it is a very interesting idea that would change how we think about these bizarre dinosaurs. Also in the news is the very sad report that yet another Tyrannosaurus specimen is being put up for auction next month, sold by an anonymous seller. This time it's a beautifully preserved skull, nicknamed Maximus, that was uncovered in South Dakota. It's expected to sell for between 15 and 20 million dollars when it goes up for auction on the 9th of December, and it seems very unlikely that it'll be going somewhere where it'll be available for study and access by the public, instead most probably disappearing into a private collection. The skull apparently even displays some pathologies too, so it's a massive shame that this specimen will almost certainly never get to be published on now. Anyway, that's it for the Paleo News this week, back to Doug in the studio. Thank you, Ben. Well, that's it for this week's 7 Days of Science. I do hope you enjoyed, and I'll definitely see you next week.